Hey Queen, are you wondering how to land corporate clients for your business? Have you heard about the massive opportunity to land five, six, and even seven figure clients for your business, but you're not sure where to start or if what you offer translates and if it's something that corporate buyers would invest in? If so, stay until the end of this video because I'm gonna share with you how you can land five and six figure corporate clients and I'm even going to reveal a couple of stories for clients who did just that. First and foremost, before we jump into this, let's define what a corporate client is. Because oftentimes people will message me and say, I think I'm interested in corporate clients, but I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that. So let's just jump right into it. When I use the phrase corporate clients, I'm referring to anything that is a small to enterprise business. So small normally being a small business that has at least five employees in it, all the way up to midsize to large and enterprise corporate clients like your Fortune 100 organizations. I'm also including nonprofits and associations and educational institutions in that description of corporate clients. I'm the founder of a movement called the Big Money Movement, where I've trained thousands of women all around the globe on how to leverage their expertise and land corporate clients. When we look at what it looks like to successfully land corporate clients, it's a game changer for most businesses. I have clients who within 90 days of working with us and going through our training are landing multiple six-figure corporate clients. It's, it's mind-blowing, right? And statistics support that. Studies show that within two years of landing her first corporate client, a woman-owned business grows by over 267%. That's the difference of if you are averaging about $44,000 right now in business, that would take you to over six figures. And let's say your business is averaging like $100,000 right now, that would take you over you know, $360,000 in revenue which for many entrepreneurs, that is life-changing revenue, right? Preach girl. So if you're wondering, okay, I see the opportunity, I know what a corporate client is, how do I actually land them? First and foremost, it's about looking at what are the problems that exist in corporate America and what they're already investing in. Whenever I'm working with an entrepreneur, one of the questions that I ask them is, what is the specific problem that you solve? And so oftentimes the women that we work with, they have come from corporate America and so they've identified when I was in corporate America, there was a need for diversity, equity, inclusion. Or when I was in corporate America, there was a need for operational support or leadership development. And so it's first identifying what is the need or the problem that you solve. Now keep in mind, corporate America is one of the largest buyers, particularly in the US. So they're not only investing in services, but they're also investing in products as well. We host an annual event called Corporate Client Attraction Live. And one of the things that's unique about this event is that we actually bring in corporate buyers to talk about the investments they make in small businesses, what they're looking for when they make those investments, how much they're spending. And so this year, for instance, we have the global head of diversity and inclusion from Gilead Sciences, which is a Fortune 116 company at the time of me recording this video. And this company, she told me, has a multi-billion dollar budget to spend with external partners through their supplier inclusion program. That is just one <laughs> corporate client. I'm right on target, and I think I'm up to about like one-tenth. <laughs> and then last year we had an executive buyer from Microsoft and she was talking about her budget within her department and she was talking about the millions of dollars just in her division in Microsoft that she's investing with external partners. So there's so much need and corporate buyers are looking for everything from training, coaching, development, you know, furniture if you're offering products. I mean, everything that you can imagine that a business needs corporations are looking for external partners and investing in those solutions. But if you're a consultant or coach or service provider, what I want you to first really think about is the status quo of your buyer. So what's happening in corporate America? What are the outcomes that they're trying to create? What is their desired transformation and how can you support them in that? And once you've identified the problem that you solve and that transformation that you create, the first key is your positioning. Positioning yourself in the market as the clear solution. 
Every executive buyer that I've interviewed and that we've brought onto our events talks about the importance of looking for specialized expertise and trusted advisors. So when we're talking about corporate buyers and how to land a corporate client, we're all in the business of relationships. And oftentimes, if you're not going through procurement or the certification process, for instance, how they're finding these suppliers or how they're finding these external partners is oftentimes through word of mouth, right? Through you being positioned well in the marketplace as the go-to for the problem that you solve and then finding you through their network, or it's because they've done some type of search. They're often using LinkedIn, so I have other videos to talk about LinkedIn if you need some tips on that. But they're also looking at places like LinkedIn to see who in their network do they know, who is who are their peers in their network talking about when they're looking for professionally relevant content on that particular particular problem, who are the visible experts that they can work with? So one is after you identify that problem, positioning yourself as the go-to expert, and then it's leveraging the low hanging fruit. Think about your network right now. Take an audit of your network. One of the exercises that I walk my clients through is really thinking about who do you know in your network right now who has the role of an executive buyer? Who in your network right now has proximity to executive buyers? Think about you know, where you've worked in the past. If you're still in corporate America, who are the leaders that you work with now? Are you involved in any professional associations? Are you volunteering on any boards? I'm positive <laughs> that there is someone in your network right now who has a role where they can either bring you into an organization or they have relationship with someone in a role that can bring you into an organization. So you want to start to position yourself as that trusted advisor and, and that person who has specialized expertise. And then you want to activate your existing network so that you can start to have conversations and position yourself for those opportunities. Refer leads close four times faster. So if you're looking to land corporate clients, it can be a marathon to try to position yourself for cold contacts and to develop brand new relationships. But your low hanging fruit are those people who already know, like, and trust you, who've already worked with you in the past. And you'd be surprised how many people you might have a history with, but over the years they've gone on to new roles or their new leadership roles or they're expanding. And so the more vocal you are about your expertise and the problems you solve and the opportunities that you're looking for, the better that those who know, like, and trust you can advocate, champion, and introduce you to those potential buyers. So I think that's the first place to start. Here's the thing about landing corporate clients. There are some individuals who get their positioning right, they start articulating their services and their expertise in the marketplace, and overnight they're able to land a corporate client. And for others, they have to really just build momentum and they start to become vocal in the marketplace and it takes them a little bit more time to build that traction and land a corporate client. So I've seen clients who are able to land them you know, in less than 90 days and some where it takes nine months for them to really get the traction to land a six-figure client. We have one client, Kim, who came in the door. And so <laughs> she came in the door, she had a book, she was well positioned in the marketplace. It was crystal clear what her expertise was. When she came in the door, she just needed sales strategies and savvy on how to navigate the corporate buying process. So literally she came into our program and she jokes, she just came in, she swiped my proposal strategies and then within less than a month, she closed her largest deal at that time, which is a $35,000 deal. And since then she's had traction and she's closed multiple deals. And so I've had several clients like Kim who are positioned well, they come in the door, they just need someone to really direct them and give them the strategies and immediately they're able to land deals. But I also think of our client, Rebecca. Rebecca came in the door, she had an idea of who she was. She was positioned as a sales expert, but I don't think the market was really clear on what she did specifically, right? They weren't really clear on how she differentiated herself in the space. So it took her months over time refining who she was in the marketplace, reintroducing herself to her network, building a body of content, publishing on LinkedIn, and 
One of the things I really respect about Rebecca is that she was coachable, right? She always takes feedback. We've had to have, you know, difficult conversations about her direction and, you know, repositioning herself and really working on just her mindset. You know, so many people come from the B2C space and they're used to, let me just offer this training, right? Um, off the, out the box for a few thousand dollars. And so it was really about the mindset of, owning her expertise, having the endurance for the marathon of landing corporate clients. And it took nine months, but within those nine months, Rebecca then had three multi six figure corporate client opportunities on the table. And we just celebrated the close of one of those six figure opportunities. And the thing that just warms my heart and makes this a dream come true for me is Rebecca talks about she would never have known how to even navigate the corporate buying you know, cycle. She would have never known how to position herself for these type of deals without the insight and education and knowledge. So landing a corporate client is quite literally life-changing. For some people, they get the knowledge and just overnight they land deals. And for others, it takes an evolution and it takes work and it takes passion to land those deals. But once you have that knowledge and once you have that first corporate client, that knowledge will sustain you for a lifetime. So I wanna hear from you. Are you already working with corporate clients? Is that something that you aspire to achieve? Is it intimidating, right? I get that a lot. Now that you know how to land a corporate client, I wanna share my five steps in the sales process with you. Click this video here and we'll dive into it. I'm Liz J. Simpson, founder of The Big Money Movement, and we want to make big money moves with you. If you're looking for more strategies to land five and six figure corporate clients, make sure you sign up for our advanced masterclass training at thebigmoneymovement.com or if you're looking for language for how to book meetings with executive buyers, go to corporateclientscripts.com and you can download three of our proven scripts. Until next time, I am rooting for your success queen. Bye. Here comes that video about five steps in the sales process. You know you're scared of sales. Let me help you out. Click the video now.